Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new hidden gem. As you can see right there, we are using Glover Teixeira in the light heavyweight division, and we are facing John Bones Jones. Now, I am always absolutely excited and happy and full of joy when I discover a new fighter, a fighter that is actually viable, a fighter that I could almost say is actually competitive against the top 1% in the division. We're talking the John Jones of that division. We're talking the Daniel Cormier, the Anthony Johnson, the Gustafsons. And Glover is one guy that I haven't really paid that much of attention, but a lot of you were requesting that I use Glover to share it. So I figured why not? And then when I actually use them, come to find out Glover is actually a hidden gem. He is very good in that division. Now, of course, not as good as Jones, not as good as Anthony Johnson, but Glover reminds me so much of Chuck Liddell. If you are good with Chuck Liddell, I promise you, take my word for it, you will be good with Glover. They feel absolutely alike. Their speed, their power, um, even their conditioning, their height, their reach, everything is very, very identical. So if you're good with Chuck Liddell, you will be good with Glover Teixeira. And I am pretty decent in this game when I'm using Chuck Liddell. I feel like he has some pretty heavy hands. And with Glover, I felt that heavy hands as well. And I was actually pretty surprised at, at how fast Glover was. I, right there, I rock John Jones. He's really hurt against the cage. I am pushing him backwards. I'm trying to finish him black. Look at, I mean, look at that. I am blowing up his block. I'm going to move forward, hook. I'm going to go for a straight, jab straight, uppercut. John Jones is knocked out cold. That was fast, dude. That was so fast. It felt like I was using Anthony Johnson. All I landed was just one, one overhand shot. Rock John Jones, and he was not able to recover. Landed a nasty. I mean, the way I was blowing up his block was mind boggling to me. I mean, Glover is so heavy handed. I am actually surprised that I was able to do that. So that's a first fight. That was a, that was a first fight against a typical John Jones user who likes to, you know, circle around, dance around, and throw, you know, jumping sidekicks and 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 splashing kicks to the head. The next fight that's coming up right there. We are using Glover again. We're gonna face Daniel Cormier, and this this one this is the fight right here that that made me you know make up my mind. It my mind was made up after the fight after this fight that Glover is a hidden gem because this is a this is a very decent Daniel Cormier. He was he was playing just like Daniel would play. He was uh, pushing forward the whole entire time. Boom, he goes for a clinch. Instantly, I know I got to be ready to grapple. I got to be ready to get taken down. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to stop a lot of Daniel's takedowns. But right here, I just wanted to... Usually, it's, it's in fights like, like this one that I figure out if a, if a fighter, if a character is actually a hidden gem or not. Now, one thing about Glover, though, is in the clinch, submissive in the clinch, he's not that good. As you can see right there, he keeps getting back to the Muay Thai Plum. I see him going for it right there. I see him going for it. Usually, I'm able to deny that transition, but I'm not able to deny it against DC, even though I was timing it perfectly. He goes for a takedown. I'm able to sprawl that. We're going to get the backside and stand right back up. We're going to get back to kickboxing. And right here, as the fight was going on, in my, in my mind, I'm like, okay, he's going to keep going for the clinch. He's going to keep going for takedowns. This guy is not going to stand with me for too long. So I'm going to try to work his body. I'm also working his body because as you, can, as you can see, he is moving forward with his hands up. Can you tell the excitement in my voice as I'm, as I'm commentating over this fight? Glover really made me happy today. So as he is moving forward, I'm noticing that he is just holding high block. He's not blocking his body at all. He wants to hold high block. He wants to throw, you know, very, very, you know, simple shots. He wants to lead with the jab and the straight. And he wants to get back to that clinch. He wants to get to the clinch. He wants to take the fight to the ground. He wants to stay on top. And he wants to do some ground and pound and some grappling. So right there, I am on my back. I'm faking the full guard repeatedly. And boom, I get up. I'm back up to my feet. I'm going to switch back to the conventional stance. DC is in southpaw. He switches back to the conventional Look at that, push him forward. He's not afraid of anything, or so he thought. That's the beautiful thing too about using these hidden gems. A lot of players are not familiar with the, with the character, so you, they kind of push forward on you aggressively without really thinking that you can hurt them. So right there, I'm starting to deny those clinch attempts and I'm starting to really land combos to the body. See the way he's blocking? He's going high, low, high, low, high, low. That makes it very difficult to actually 
find clean openings to land the shot but I am going with the straight followed by the right there I deny the clinch again knock him out of that punish him so right there I am going with the straight followed with the power left hook to the body right there that boom that left hook that left hook really works their stamina it usually stops them in the tracks and as you can see his his left arm is getting completely blown up it's mind-boggling to me how good Glover is at breaking the block like that's the one thing that I'm so fascinated by while I was using Glover just very few shots and these guys their block is getting completely broken but right there he takes me down one more time as this round comes to an end really really interesting man if you've not used Glover I would suggest that you pick that you pick up the game test them out like I said if you're good with Chuck Liddell you will be good with Glover um, his perks he has got back constrictor level 4 I believe he has ground finisher level 2 and he also has heavy hands level 2 so that is very very good you know the, the heavy hands perk is gonna do you some good as I am blasting him with those hooks to the body going straight to the head followed by the hook to the body you know and and his stamina is actually pretty decent as well I mean he has got a 73 in his stamina and when you look at his speed his speed is not bad his punch speed is not bad at all you I believe he's at like a 66 um so it's not it's not bad at all I mean Glover is not bad one bit you look at his right hand power he's at a 93 right hand power look at that he's completely hurt right now I'm gonna push forward and watch how I break this dude's block. Jab, overhand, jab, straight, drop them, fight is over. That right hand is a 93. 93 rated, his, his left hand is a 94. So you know you have got some nasty power in those hands. That combined with the heavy hands, level two, recipe for disaster if you stand in front of Glover as this Daniel Cormier player just figured out so that's it man hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section if you've ever used Glover let me know uh, what you think about him he feels extremely good especially in the light heavyweight division where you don't have a lot of options uh, you know it's always fun it's always exciting for me to, to to discover a new fighter that I can actually pick when I'm trying to play ranked a new guy that I can say I can pick this guy and if I play my game right if I'm able to land clean shots I will be able to get my opponent out of there no matter what so that's it there's Glover Teixeira light heavyweight division rubbing that bell hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section what you think let me know also who you think I should use next for the hidden gem um for the hidden gem episode thank you so much for watching guys hope you have a fantastic day i will see you very shortly keep yourself safe